Welcome to Kendall's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making honey chipotle chicken and waffles. First we're going to start off with cleaning our station and then washing our hands. So I've already pre-measured my things for my batter and for my breading that I will be dipping my chicken into before putting it into the oil. So I'm going to start by making my batter. So we're going to take one and a half cups of flour. And then we're going to take one cup of whipping cream. one cup of chicken broth, and we're going to do three teaspoons of salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Then we're going to crack our eggs. this away. And then crack our other egg. And throw that away. Next we're going to wash our hands so we don't cross contaminate. Then we're going to add in our eggs. And then you're going to mix all that together. And so we're going to whisk all of our ingredients together for our batter until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to take these dishes to get them out of our way and wash them. Okay, next we're going to be making our breading for our chicken because afterwards, once we've dipped it into our batter, we will um, cover it in our breading and then take it and fry it. So we have one and a half cup of flour. And then I've mixed half a teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then three-fourths teaspoon of paprika. So then we're going to mix that all up. Okay, so once we've cleaned our area and we have our batter mixed and our breading ready, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to dip it in the batter like this. And then you're going to take it and lay it in your dry ingredients and just move your breading over top until it's fully covered. So I have my oil cooking and I already have a piece in there and it's very hot so you have to be careful but I'm gonna go ahead and put my other pieces in. You're gonna cook these for about four minutes until the chicken is fully done and a golden brown color. You're going to want to flip these every so often. So now we're going to be making our sauce. It's the honey chipotle sauce for our chicken. Um, you're going to take a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of chili pepper flakes, and then you're going to do a fourth cup of water a fourth cup of ketchup. You're going to take your spatula and make sure you get all of it out. And stack your dishes. 
dishes. Be easier to carry over to the sink so you can clean them. And then we have two thirds cup of honey. And then one teaspoon of white vinegar. So then we're going to carry our dishes over to the sink so they can be clean. So once we've taken our chicken out of the um, frying pan, we're going to put it onto a plate with a napkin and make sure that the grease is soaked up. And poultry is around supposed to be 165 degrees when it's fully cooked. So that's what we're going to do right now with our thermometer and it shows 165 so it's cooked. Okay, so we've got more chicken cooking and we're going to be working on our sauce now. So I have it up to about medium heat and you're going to keep it on there until it's um, come to a low boil. Keep on stirring it occasionally just so it melts evenly. Now we're going to be making our ranch dressing. It's the Chipotle ranch that will be drizzled over top of our chicken. So I'm going to take two packets of ranch seasoning, one cup of milk, one cup of mayo, batter for our waffles. So we're going to take in three and one half cup of flour. One cup and a half of buttermilk. One cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. in our one cup of melted butter. It's cold. And then I've already taken my six eggs and I've whisked them and cracked them in the bowl. So we're going to add that in. And then we're going to add in one teaspoon of salt. six tablespoons plus two teaspoons of sugar, four tablespoons of cornstarch, four and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and last but not least, one half teaspoon of baking soda. And we're gonna take all of our dishes and put them in the sink. But first we're gonna close this and lock it and start mixing. Now we're going to be making our waffles. I've already preheated my waffle iron. I'm going to spray it and grease it all up. And then I'm going to take about half a cup of batter, put it in the middle so it can spread. And then I'm going to take it and flip it over. <laughs> and leave it for about two minutes. Now we're going to be making our pecan maple schmear to go with our waffles. So first we're going to add in our 16 ounces of cream cheese.
that we've uh, taken this and it's gone to room temperature, so it's nice and soft. Then we're going to take half a cup of pecans, and then we're going to take six tablespoons of syrup. Now we're going to take our dishes over to the sink. And now we're going to mix this until it's in a thick consistency. And then you'll serve it. So now that everything's done, we're going to assemble it. So first we're going to, after we've taken our waffles and placed our chicken on there, I've put in um, toothpicks in the middle of them to keep them steady. And then we're going to be taking our sauce and drizzling it over the top. And then I'll take some chopped up bacon and chopped up green onions and put those over top of it as well as drizzling the ranch and then we'll have our schmear on our side. And here's our finished product of our honey chipotle chicken and waffles and schmear. Thank you for joining us tonight and please tune in next time on Kendall's Kitchen.